All right, it's time to talk about Arcane Season 2, Act 2, in a spoiler fashion, of course. I didn't actually review Act 1 on the channel, but I just I just had to review Act 2 after watching those episodes because this, this batch of episodes was actually insane, uh, fantastic, in all the best ways. This season is just blowing my mind every single episode, and I would say that this act is clearly the most emotional act of the season that we're going to get. I don't think that next act is going to be this emotional. These were the emotional three episodes that I think we needed to carry us to those next three and last three episodes of this show and I, at times I actually thought it was more intense and these are the most uh, character driven episodes that we've got them more than the last act I would say I don't uh, want to say that this act is better than the first act yet I still need to sit with it and I love what Netflix is doing of course with this release strategy releasing three a week every Saturday so you can sit with these episodes I'm not really sure how I feel about the Saturday thing maybe it's just because of my schedule I, it takes me so long to watch them on Saturday Saturdays but man these episodes really do hit you in the feel so you got to take that whole week to really take them in but as again as I said again man I, I loved these three episodes and we're going to get to talking about a lot of these spoilers so just make sure to leave a like if you do enjoy this video it does help me out a lot but I do have some questions that I hope we get answered in the next three episodes or you can answer those questions down below if you do know the lore two questions I have are is where was Jace you know where's Jace been because he came back and he's come back with a fight. He's like, this arcane, this hex tech, it, it's got to go. This is not what we need. And he's like, he's not having it. That's why basically he killed Victor. Actually, I'm not really sure if he killed Victor. You know, he shot him with that little hammer rifle that he has, the hammer explosive thing. That's actually really cool. He, I, you know, I'm not sure if he's dead because he's been so, you know, changed into like Jesus Victor and can do like everything. It kind of seems that way, but I'm still not sure. You know, he's he's a really different change man. You know, Jace looks like he's been gone for, you know, years and all that. I, I don't know where he's been. Maybe an alternate reality. Another question I have, where is Echo and Heimerdinger? Because Echo and Heimerdinger were in that same place with Jace when they both when they all disappeared. But Jace is the only one that's come back so far. Uh, I'm so interested to see, though, if we're going to get Echo and Heimerdinger. Because they have to, you know, bring him back or tell us where they've been. I'd love in the next three episodes if we do get a flashback to see where they've been. You know, I've seen rumors or people saying maybe they're in alternate dimension. Maybe they're in the, you know, future when everything went crazy, went all arcane, where Victor, you know, kind of led this journey, led this Jesus journey that he's on. And maybe Jay saw this and he's like, nah, we got to make a stop to this. Those are my questions that I hope we get answered. If not, I'll be kind of disappointed in that finale. But it, it is so interesting to see Jay so different, so changed now, because he was such a strong believer in this arcane stuff in the first season. I'm getting a little confused on the arcane versus Hextech kind of stuff like that. I think it is kind of in the same realm of things, but just when they talk about it, it's it's a little confusing for me as someone who didn't grow up with League of, League, League of Legends the lore. But those are the questions that I do want answered. Now we can get to my thoughts on some of the characters in this show. And I I really do think that it was sad. You know, the last episode of this act, so sad, man. They were about to fix, you know, almost fix uh, Vander, you know, Vander slash, uh, you know, Warwick. He's the beast and Vander in the same body because Singe, you know, did did that all to him, try to fix things. And, you know, he's dead now. Vander is basically dead. Warwick is dead because Isha basically killed him, but killed herself in the process. That's such a sad death, man. Isha was such a little, little, you know, ray of sunshine in a way. She was so cute, too. And, you know, Jinx became like, Jinx became like a parent in that sense because Isha was like uh, Jinx Jr. in a way. It, they had such a fun relationship. I love them playing with their little... Uh, robot things in the in the first episode of this act it was such a cute instance man and you know each has always had jinx's back they've always had each other's back you know you know when they first saw each other jinx was doing the finger guns and then uh, Isha did the finger guns when she died. It, it was such a sad ending for them. And it's going to be kind of interesting to see how that plays out for Jinx and her, you know, mental struggles. Because she was finally getting better. And then she saw that we finally saw everyone reunite, which wasn't something that I was, I was expecting. You know, reuniting of Jinx, Vi, and Vander all together. Now, that was something that I wasn't expecting to see. I thought they were all going to be at war with each other throughout the same throughout the season but I, I love seeing them all together again but it looks like you know the war between you know jinx and vi won't have wouldn't have lasted the war is now against ambessa ambessa is like a true menace to society so that's going to be that huge war in the next three episodes caitlin i was starting to hate caitlin throughout this you know act 
but she finally came around and was helping Vi, so that's good. Uh, it's just a very, very sad string of episodes. I did love the flashback with Vander and his wife and Silco. That was just an amazing flashback. Uh, I, I really did love that. I love the, you know, Paint the Town uh, Blue song. That song was great too. Uh, Jinx finally becoming the leader of her people. That's what we like to see there. And yeah, overall, those are my main thoughts on Act 2. I don't really have anything else to really dive into. We know that Ambes is kind of like the true villain of the next act. It is kind of crazy how next act is the last act, you know, only three episodes left. I have still those questions about Echo and Heimerdinger, still question about Jace. Uh, interesting to see where we're going to see Jinx and Vi's relationship in the next couple episodes. I, I'm so interested to see how they end this. You know, there's going to be more character deaths. We can all guess that, you know, Vander's not the only person that's going to die. I, I'm interested to see if they're going to kill off Vi and Jinx, only one of them. Uh, those are, I'm really interested to see that, but as I said, I love these three episodes, so emotional. Uh, next three episodes are our last ones. I'm not going to give a rating so far. We'll wait till the season ends. So excited for the last three episodes next week. I will do a review for those as well. Uh, leave your thoughts down below what you did think of Act 2. I'm really interested to see what you guys thought. If you do have any answers for my questions down below, leave them down below. If you did like this review, make sure you do leave a like, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.